Uh, good morning. So uh, this is my vlog and I'm just starting it up on my YouTube channel. If you're not familiar with my YouTube channel, I do interviews with uh, special effects artists, filmmakers, actors, comic book writers and artists. Uh, and I do tutorials on filmmaking, film analysis, storytelling notes. But I thought I would also do a, uh, a vlog. And uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to do a vlog is because people are always asking what am I doing with my projects. And uh, also people tell me that they like when I go live on Facebook and kind of talk about what I'm doing. So uh, this isn't going to be a complete picture of my life, but it is going to be um, kind of me talking about what I'm doing in my daily projects. Right now, uh, I'm dealing with animals that want to go outside while also having a bunch of food out um, to make my breakfast. So I was going to make my breakfast and talk about what I'm doing. But since the animals want to go outside, now you're going to watch me put away all the food that I just brought out. Because there are cats that will try and steal it. So, anyway. I'll keep talking about what I'm doing, and then we're gonna make an omelet. Or maybe I'll be done talking by the time it's time to make the omelet. But let's take the animals outside. I have to go outside with the animals when they go outside because we... Are we still recording? Yes, we're still recording. Wonderful things, these phones. Jeez. Animals are kind of stupid. They will break everything that you work hard to maintain. Um, anyway, so welcome to the backyard. We have a picket fence, which the smaller dog will stick his uh, face through. So I've got to make sure that he's not out here when um, some other animal is here that can bite him through the fence or something like that. But Anyway, so today is... Uh, start of a very busy week for me. Again, I can't talk. I, I I can't talk entirely about everything that I'm doing because you know some things are proprietary. But I am building uh, creature parts in the garage. Garage is over here. Um. So if you're not familiar with my channel, a lot of what I do is um special effects for kind of the fantastic on a low budget. I uh, just finished up working on uh, Ray Bradbury Live Forever, so uh, raybradburylivefforever.com if you want to check that out. It's a one-man show by Bill Obers Jr. Uh, where he plays Ray Bradbury and I created projected backdrops uh, for the play where I uh, did miniatures, did some CGI, did some photo compositing. Um, mosquitoes are out here, I gotta be careful. Uh, and that can be seen on my YouTube channel as well. Um, well, not the play, but the, some of the highlights from the black backdrops. Um, and I also finished up working on a web series that is, uh, I can't really talk about too much at the moment except that it is a choose your own adventure. It is um, got gameplay to it. It is uh, funded by Walmart um, under, anyway, under Clint Carney, who is a exceptional filmmaker in his own right. He's a visual effects supervisor. So now I'm working on something for my own website uh, in addition to some work I'm doing for a haunt at the moment. Uh, but because I do so many kind of creature features with tentacles and and uh, monsters and slime and blood and uh, all that sort of thing, and I also do science fiction, but right now I'm kind of focusing on the creature stuff. So in my garage I've got a setup, which I'll show you in another vlog, uh, where I am uh, puppeteering creatures that I'm making, uh, and they're not for my project there if you're a filmmaker they could be for your project um, so uh, all I'll say at the moment in addition to that is uh, go and bookmark uh, digital practical FX the, the letters FX 
Uh, so digitalpracticalfx.com. Go bookmark that. If you're a filmmaker who wants creatures in your films uh, and wants them to be practical effects creatures, just not another CGI shot, then that's going to be of interest to you. Um, not that I have anything against CGI. I am learning Blender at the moment, so that's something that in my vlog I may uh, you may get a taste of as well. Uh, I'm also, what I, I don't know, I've got a lot to do this week. So I've got um, practical effects to make. I've got, um, uh, I'm putting together a new showreel based on my work. Like I said, for the Ray Bradbury Live Forever. Uh, I don't think I can put anything in my showreel yet for um, the project with Clint Carney. But there'll be stuff in there from the Quantum Terror. Uh, and there will be stuff in there from... Uh, well, Winston may bark, he barks at cars as they go by. Um, uh, Shansar, which is a uh, Krav Maga fighting uh, thing that I did some video work for, some visual effects for. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Where else was it going with that? So I, I've, got, I've got a lot to do this week, so we'll be going along for that ride. Um... Oh, by the way, these these videos are going to be on average about 10 minutes because I guess YouTube is, uh, you know, 10 minutes for their algorithm. They want to promote videos that are 10 minutes or longer. Um, they, I'll do my best to stay focused on these. I don't know if I'll be putting these out every day. Uh, I may put out two, three a day, or I may put out two a week or one a week. But I'm going to try and keep doing these talking about uh, what I'm doing. So anyway, to recap, beginning of this week, working on practical effects. We're also going to be uh, shooting those practical effects on a Blackmagic Pocket 4K camera. Um, eh, a couple hair in my mouth or something. Sorry. It's all, it's all just going to be candid, real on here. Uh, so I'm going to be putting together a show reel. I may this week also be doing some additional work for the Sanctuary in Oklahoma, their haunt, uh, the Splice. I'm doing some visual effects for their advertising for that. Jenna Green, who worked on the Quantum Terror, uh, is out there right now. She's actually making creatures for that. So hopefully we can get Jenna in on these vlogs a little bit as well. Uh, speaking of the Quantum Terror, I'm also working right now with Derek Hunt on the music. Um, that's coming along really well. The Quantum Terror has been a um, it's been a long journey. It took a lot longer than I thought it was going to because life happens. You know, you make a movie on your own if you're doing all the post production by yourself. Music accepted because Derek's working on that. Uh, that takes a really long time. Winston, what are you eating? What is this? dog doing these are the dogs they will be uh knocking over this very lightweight cell phone tripod quite often um anyway yes uh so the quantum terror uh making a movie when you're doing the post-production by yourself again music accepted takes a long time to do uh, it took me ages to do the second unit stuff after I finished principal photography. Uh, audio has had a lot of issues that um, we have to, because we don't have the money to solve them, we have to come up with solutions that uh, are low budget and those take longer. Um, as far as uh, visual effects go, I had to uh, redo visual effects because I would do them, they would look all right, and then I'd learn some new things and see how I could make them better. Uh, and I just got to say, I want to thank everybody who has supported this project um, for being so patient because I realized that, let's see, we're, we're coming up on year five and I want to get this done in year five uh, and out in year five. Um, but it's been worth it because we've gotten a lot of attention without having a finished film or without having any um, uh, screeners or, or film festival showings, we've gotten interest from distribution. So that is going to be uh, quite an amazing, that's, a, that's an amazing thing to have interest from distribution. Um, anyway. I'm going to be trying to chronicle all of this, and uh, my phone's flashing at me like it's going to run out of memory, but uh, that's it from me for now.